Teen Olympian overslept, lost coat, said <laughs> on TV, and won US's first gold of 2018. <laughs> overslept? That sums up the work ethic of that generation. Uh, hey, how many gold medals do you and your cat have? How about you go knit some cat mittens, Deborah? One star. I have gotten a chicken cheesesteak from here three times, wife every time we both had upset stomach after eating the food. Would not recommend buying food. Tried Maryland crab soup? It was all broth, no crab meat. Well, you know, this is a really disappointing review, but thankfully there is a response from the owner. Uh, we are sorry we had to call the police because you had hit one of our employees' cars parked outside while driving under the influence and not telling us and running away. Also, if the chicken cheese stick gave you an upset stomach, why would you order it again two more times? This is not the place to take out your frustration on something non-related to the business. Your name is the same as it is on the police report. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> This is the worst place. Well, I think you made it that way when you drunkenly crashed into a car. DC Films still doesn't know what to do with Superman. The studio reportedly is unsure how to make the character relevant to modern audiences. Yeah, I mean, there really is no way to make the story of a space refugee adopted by farmers in middle America who later becomes a journalist and a hero focused on writing injustices and thwarting the schemes of a selfish billionaire relevant to modern times. Yeah, I don't, I, I can't see any, any way that this could be like a, like something we could talk about in today's society, for sure. Fake tweets! Here's a link to a fake tweet. So, it was three days ago, yet the image states it was one day ago. Yeah, uh, screenshots don't update themselves. <laughs> Didn't know, they know how to break that one down for you. In my book, Sport Knowledge, Chapter 6, Page 99, it's written, Track racing doesn't require much physicality, so therefore it doesn't count as a real sport. Hey, your fat ass on a drive through McDonald's isn't the same as driving 350 kilometers per hour. I mean, that's true. But this seemed really out of nowhere. Are you a track are you a track enthusiast? Did you feel offense? I don't know who wrote this book, so I don't know why this applies to them. There are profile pictures of CM Punk, and I know CM Punk is no fat ass. What is this about? <laughs> I'm very confused at all of this. Hey, it's called soccer. If anyone disagrees, reply to this. You know, ten of your teams have FC in the name, by the way. What does FC stand for? Oh, sorry. I, I, I opened up my phone to uh, see what I look up what FC meant and I had Twitter open, so it opened up to Twitter. And uh, Ludwig, Ludwig had uh, Ludwig posted a tweet that said, anyone want to sniff? And he's tagged disguised toast in it. And I can't tell. <laughs> Babe, come in here. You gotta come see this. Can you believe a grown man has an ass like this? Oh my god, I was just looking at an ass picture. No, look at this. That's kind of nice. Like, can you believe that? I wish that were. He is double caked up. On a Thursday afternoon. On a Sunday evening. The Lord's Day. The Lord's Day. Check this shit out. I <laughs> I saw a turtle with a nice ass. A turtle? No, I'm sorry, it was a frog. A frog? Yeah, had nice Amphibian ass. Amphibian ass. Yeah, seriously, it's so nice. Like, I'm actually- Show nice. me. It says, why is everyone so- Look at this. Yo, what the- He got a nice ass. He's got an ass. <laughs> that frog? Okay, no, he's got a Hank Hill ass, he does, not a nice ass. He does have a Hank Hill ass. <laughs> This is all recording, by the way. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to send it to you so you can put it in the Hey, video? what does FC mean? Um... In the context of soccer. Boy, call. Okay, you can go. Alright. I, I love you. Thank you for thank you for stopping by. You're welcome. Bye, people. <laughs> Alright, hold on. What is... What is... Ah, uh, football club. That, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Anyway, it, it is called football. That that is very true. Um, Major League Soccer? No, it's it, it, it's it's football. This is on a video which was ten years old. Damn, I wonder how they're doing nowadays. What a legend. I'm doing okay. How is this a murdered by words? I don't I don't get it. Why? How is this a murdered by words? This is just a general interaction. Also, I would like to point out the guys. <laughs> He turns himself into a pickle and the the skinned body. I think that's one of my favorite like pickle Rick related memes If not my favorite is the 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 tortured soul who saw him turn himself into a pickle funniest <laughs> ever seen winning against Iceland is not a big challenge for Britain But winning against France is a national sport for the Brits and a sport that started centuries ago <laughs> 
France always seems to lose or takes the French 116 years to finally win against England. You know what I mean here. You're right. France does always lose wars to England, uh, except the Norman Invasion 1066, the Anglo-French War 1213-1214, Anglo-French War 1294-1303, War of Saint-Sardes 1324, Hundred Years' War 1337-1453, War of the League of Cambrai 1512-1514, Italian War 1543-1514, Russian War 1543-1550, Italian War 1551-1551, and Russian War 1551-1551, and War of the Fifth Coalition. But uh, aside from those, England always beats France. It's true. It's true. But well, I know, I'm just the French history podcast. If we don't hit 400,000 followers by May 15th, we're gonna erase all your save files. All of them, please retweet. <laughs> As if I plan on playing any of your games again, stupid. What, you think I'm gonna subject myself to that devolve or digital? Devolve on these nuts digitally. Oh, I gotta zoom up on these. Dear Matt's crush, Matt really likes you. Please give him a chance. I can't vouch for Matt personally. I wouldn't trust him, I don't think you should either. I don't know what he did to screw up, but it sounds bad. No more second chances. You should get out while you still can. Love, Gritty. <laughs> hey Gritty, call my crush and tell her I screwed up and really like her. Except you can't talk, so you're just gonna make it worse anyway. <sighs> Never mind. Well, now, now, now look what's happened. Now look what's happened now that you've asked Gritty to do this thing. Never ask Gritty for anything. Hey, is using an exploit in a video game to crash servers legal in America? Is it illegal to crash a video game server using nothing but in-game mechanics? I found an exploit in a Steam survival game that can crash the server for about five to 10 minutes, booting everyone off of the server, and it uses nothing but in-game mechanics to do. Is it considered a DOS attack, or since I'm just playing the game, would it hold up in court? <gasps> Excuse me. Ooh, a green text. Knock on door. Go away, I'm busy. Door opens. Annan's parents take a timid step into the room. His jugs fill most of the available floor space. Annan, what, what are you doing? Camera pans to Annan, who sits cross-legged and hunched over a small, dusty monitor. Fat roll, mm-mm. <clears throat> Fat rolls flowing freely to reveal a completely naked figure, except for some ripped, stained Y fronts. I just found a small indie game on Steam where I can exploit an in-game mechanic and crash the servers. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. I just found a small indie game on Steam where I can exploit an in-game mechanic to crash the servers. <laughs> I love this character. Oh man. <laughs> Wait, shart? <laughs> so he laughs and. <laughs> I'm basically a hacker, you know. A pale, chunky hand reaches into an industrial-sized bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Some sounds, akin to that of a hungry hippopotamus devouring a small mammal, follow. The creature wipes the... <laughs> the creature wipes the crumbs on its pallid body. Okay, Annan, we'll leave you to it. The mother wipes away a single tear she backs out of the room. The father gives a single glare, a mix of regret, shame, and stoic acceptance, before following suit and gently closing over the door. A single balloon reading, Happy 30th birthday, son, hovers for several days in the doorway unnoticed until the helium leaks out of it and it slumps almost wearily to the floor. But is it illegal? <laughs> he never answered his question. Hey, what are the demographics of Amalana voters? Ah, oh, it's people with hairlines. Sorry, man. Rough. When is Straight Pride Night at Phoenix Rising FC? Well, uh, you know, we'll, we'll let you know when we have an mm -hmm. poll night and we can honor you at halftime, okay? Since you would love to ask, Cardona. These containers are for farm chemicals or water for stock. The plastic degrades quickly in the sunshine, so unless he's putting it into something else quickly, expect a news story. Um, you're wrong. A haul hazmat and totes like this all the time. So you're aware that they're made of HDPE plastic, which key attributes are poor weather other resistance, high flammability, and subject to stress cracking. Hmm. There's a reason the petroleum industry uses metal drums that include, <laughs> you hear the dogs going crazy outside, they're having a party. Well, there's a reason the petroleum industry uses metal drums, including that petrol breaks down plastics. Hey, whoa, whoa, easy with the facts and logic. He said he's a holler, not a scholar. All right, enough of the, enough of that. Saying no thank you, I got it to the middle-aged white man on the airplane who offered and began to take my suitcase out of the overhead compartment for me was a quickly calculated act of resistance. You know, years ago when men would offer to help me, open doors and etc., I'd smile and say thank you. These days, these days when it happens, I smile more and say thank you loudly because I know that at some point, 
these good men have had to put up with the likes of simpletons like you. <laughs> if it's on an airplane, I don't, can't, unless it's like moving my seat for someone who needs the seat, I'm not talking to nobody. That's just, I, I am trying to get from one place to the other. No one speak to me. No one speak to me. And that's how it stays. My father-in-law is diabetic and gives himself shots in front of my daughter. I don't think it's appropriate for him to do this in front of her. How do I approach this subject with him? Here, I'll tell you how. The next time he does it, go up to him and say this. I'm sorry for being so inconsiderate, small-minded and misinformed. I selfishly judged the situation without having enough insight and information beforehand. I promise to be more respectful next time a situation like this arises. Why? Because there's nothing wrong with it. He's not taking illegal drugs, but life-saving medicine. Your daughter will not be traumatized or predisposed to taking any drugs, if that's what you're thinking, in the future. Normalize the condition. Normalize any and every condition slash disease slash disorder. Be the person you'd want your daughter to be, and that's not having a problem with somebody's illness. Unless that is who you want your daughter to be, in which case, uh, seek a large fire to jump into. A big one, big, big ol' big fire. Jump into it, and once you get toasty, good 375 degrees, and then, you know, your skin's crispy, come on out, it's dinner time. Let's not go into 2020 being fools. Phone flipped over means either you hiding something or cheating. No, actually, I flipped my phone over to let you insecure fools know I'm focused on you. I feel like there's always like a an air with these tweets where it's like, no, even if he's not cheating, he's cheap. I feel like it's everyone just like waiting to like strike each other. It's really gross. Hey, name this game. The story? Yes. The graphics, no. Hey, how would you name this processor? The price, ah! the performance, oh. I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with Bintel. It rhymes with Bingel. You could, you could spell help or you can make a raft. Victim mentality will get you killed. No one's coming. It's up to you. So, ex-sailor here who has been involved in search and rescue ops and witnessed the aftermath of two different people in different situations, both trying to float in the open ocean on makeshift rafts like this. One died within about two days and was already gone when we found her. The other stayed alive for a full three days, but the other three people who were on his boat with him when it capsized and broke apart, which is the same thing the ways would do to that raft, by the way. All died long before we found him and he was barely conscious, completely dehydrated and about an inch from death floating on a piece of driftwood. So, if you're ever really in a situation where you're trapped on an island like this, for Christ's sake, don't go wading into the f***ing open ocean on a tiny raft. You will almost certainly die. And if you don't, it will only be because someone helped you. Staying on the island vastly increases your chances of being able to survive on your own. Just a little tip from an ex-sailor. If I jump from your ego to your intelligence, I die. Classic roast. Yeah, but if I jump from your ignorance to your reasoning, I'd die of old age before I hit anything. <laughs> Damn. Okay, a spin on a classic, I like that. Can I be cloned from the DNA sample? Hey now, the real question is why would you think anyone would want to clone you of all people? Are you that special that you deserve the cloning treatment? Is that what you think? That you're somehow the one that's gonna bring it home for the cloning? I don't think so, bud. Weirdo, why'd you like my pick from 2017? Hey, no, I'm not weird. You just haven't looked good in a while. I just wanted to... <laughs> that's... that's awful. That's terrible. That's just mean. Sorry, I was just thinking about it. That's just a mean response. You just haven't looked good in a while. I just want to remind you what your prime was. Oh, this is from... this is... this is a Linus Tech Tips. Like, this is straight from the source. Okay, but why not just buy different ones instead of getting replacements? Sure. Got 10 to 15k to spare? I'll place the order today. There's a lot of comments about how unreasonable my expectations are that a product I paid for works as intended. I don't get it. When do people get so pro-corporation and anti-consumer? Um, when everyone feels like being pro-corporation conveniences them. Mad Lad has a name to the graduation ceremony. Okay, nice. It's CU Boulder, Vanessa, Jacob, Monica. Oh, I see. Uh, congratulations to D's Nuts for graduating. Grad appreciation is we appreciate D's. D's Nuts, congratulations. Start a new business? $999, too much. Buy a new iPhone, $999, no problem. And it's going all the way down the line and saying life is about choices, stop blaming the lack of opportunity. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've read this post before, so I'm not gonna go about it again. Hey, your business, but the replies to this I have not seen. Hey, your business startup cost is missing a couple digits. Your skull's missing a brain and your post is missing the point uh, deliberately. 
You know, I understand some of these, but can somebody please tell me what successful business they started without their dad's credit score as backup and their grandpa's money? You know, my husband and I started our company two years ago and I promise the cost is way more than $999. Also, where are these shopping? Dude, you couldn't start a lemonade stand with 999 bucks. Everyone just one after another dismantling this this entire tweet. Sorry, man. You know, if you if you, you want to take those two hours to learn a new skill, take those two hours to craft better tweets. So why don't they go to the moon every year now with current tech? They go rovering Mars and moon is so close here, unexplored. Yeah, no, pal, they did 13 times since Apollo 11, six ships successful. Now they're constructing a lunar base there. Why not every year? Tell me first a reason why they need to go back there again for no reason. They already had samples, rocks, etc. They sent satellites to scan the surface. There's no other reason to go back there for nothing. The next mission on the moon is a lunar base and that would make no sense to go back there every year. Why not wait for a perfect time to go to the moon to establish a sensible project? <laughs> this guy just went, nah. Fair enough, I think that wins the debate. He could have said, yo mama, and that would have won it too. <laughs> there is no reason for anyone over the age of 21 to be having a conversation with anyone under the age of 18. For the last time, son, I won't talk to you. Hey, look, I'm sorry, students, but the last time I'm gonna say this. Stop trying to talk to me. Hey, look, I'm afraid I can't hire you. I cannot speak to you. You know, I would tell that kid to get off my lawn, but society isn't ready yet. <laughs> You know, my newborn baby just said its first word, but I'm not trying to hear that. Hello, 911? Help, my parents are in a burning building. Whoa, I don't know, kid. You sound just a little young and, uh, I don't know, I'm not really feeling too comfortable with this. Click as it should be. Let them handle themselves like that one Jimmy Neutron movie. How can some people not want these? Oh. Because I don't see a cute play thing when I see a baby. I see a huge responsibility. A responsibility big enough that it will consume years of my life. It's not a puppy or a kitten that can survive in the house on its own. You literally need to be present with the baby all the time. Every action is going to factor into growing and shaping the destiny of that baby. The world is going to sh We all have issues which can be traced back to our parents. And being a parent is the most important job on the planet. So stop giving birth to babies because they're cute. You are ruining the baby and the world we live in. Stupid. Just throw a bag on your willy, all right? Tired of it. Challenge accepted. At... <laughs> I'd lose my 84 kg. If your boss Dana gives you permission to box me and make more money than you ever have, let me know and then we can lace them up. I promise it'll be your biggest payday. I know, keep making your money, young man. And stay on that side. I ain't no Disney kid and I don't play fighting. Damn. Jay Paul gonna bark up the wrong tree. I wanna see, I, I know we're all waiting to see him get rocked and one day it'll happen. He's gonna run out of middle-aged men to fight that are out of their prime. It's called the Church of Satan, where they perform ritual human sacrifice and eat human flesh. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Please, don't confuse us with the Catholics. That ain't us. I decided to dress up as the person who scares me most. The Democrat dimwit darling, socialist loving, freedom hating, former bartender herself at AOC. Uh, AOC graduated magna cum laude from Boston University and won her election in a landslide. You barely graduated college, got fired from two jobs, and talked to a mirror for attention. So, I guess I understand your fear. Happy Halloween. So sorry, Ver. You tweet on so many political issues, so I used to take you seriously. But now I will take your every tweet as a joke. Oh, that's absolutely fine to gender. If you think I'm joking, that means I'm doing my job. But if I think you're joking, you're not doing yours. Just want you to let that sink in. Okay. I'm American and cannot for the life of me understand a single word from probably 75% of all Australians. Well, you know, with a name like that, no wonder. Good day from Australia. I can sadly understand 100% of Americans. So maybe it's an IQ thing. You know, it really must be. I have no problem understanding Kiwis for some reason and they're pretty smart people. I think this guy's just a big stew. I, I <laughs> wait. Why, what, what are key, are, do Australian, hold on. I don't think key, I don't think Kiwis is for Australians. I'm pretty sure that's for New Zealanders. Is that the joke? Oh God, I'm gonna see another round of comments. Damien's getting whooshed. No, I just got a small brain. My brain's tiny, okay? <laughs> Now you've pissed off the neighborhood dogs with this post. I hope you're happy, Reddit. You? Why is my balance low? Oh my God, can you guys hear that? Holy shit. I hope they're chilling. Jeez. Oh, <laughs>
Hope everybody's okay. You? Why is my balance so low? Bank account. Make coffee at home. Eat the food that's already in the fridge. You don't need a cab, it's only three blocks. You know, I guess we'll never know. Seriously? Hashtag Monday motivation. Man, the bank that pays its CEO $31 million and received a $12 billion bailout of crashing our economy tells poor people to stop being so irresponsible with their money? That's rich. I kinda like your CEO. A waste of money. Yeah, your education was. You should go and give a refund to whatever city you graduated in as an apology. Judge to a troll who was found guilty of harassing a British politician. You are an inadequate man who cannot cope with the reality of having reached your 50s without ever really achieving much. Save for acquiring some criminal convictions for violent and abusive behavior and a habit of drinking too much alcohol and sitting at your keyboard venting your frustration at others who, in your view, have the temer temerity? Temerity. <laughs> I don't know. To put themselves in positions of public service and hold views with which you do not agree. In other words, you are a Big one. Real big one. A side saying if you don't like Satan's shoes, don't buy them is the same side that boycotts Chick-fil-A for being Christian. Just don't eat there. No, yeah, that's what, literally what a boycott is. So, how about you please join us next week on Explaining Words to Kevin Sorbo, where we tell you uh, what a synonym is. A kid sold his Xbox and did a little bit of work on the side to buy his mom a car. This comment, though. Good kid, but why couldn't his mom get her own car? Was she sick? Disabled? If not, I'm not too thrilled her child got her the car. There's gotta be a reason for it. If she could work, she could buy her own car, but a kid with a generous heart, I just hope he doesn't regret it. You know, maybe she works to pay bills, keep a roof over her kid's head and food in their bellies, and there's nothing left in the coffers to be able to buy, tax, and run a car. Sounds like she's doing a great job in bringing up the kids to be thoughtful and kind, which is pretty damn good in my eyes. What is your parent? What, what have your parents done? Ohio bar owner refuses to show NBA games until LeBron is expelled from league. And that's because, of course, as everyone knows, the NBA and TV networks absolutely love the idea of 100 guys watching a game for free in a single bar with one cable box. This boycott's gonna bring them down to their knees. They're gonna be begging, pleading and begging, please, please broadcast our game again. You know, the corporate media and the woke mob don't want you to read this book. They tried to cancel it, they failed. One week until publication. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. The woke big tech companies don't want you to read this. Anyway, here's the Amazon link that I'm posting on Twitter. Goodbye. You know, when Lamborghini said we don't do commercials because our target audience isn't sitting around watching TV. Uh, man, that hit me like a ton of bricks. It hit me like my brand new Lamborghini in the driveway. <laughs> yeah, hit me too a few years back. I stopped wasting time watching TV. Well, do you own a Lamborghini now? Hmm? Go ahead, answer quick. I'm basically on a bunch of machines. Hospital keeping me alive at this point, but I improve the more I fight. So let's make a deal. I'll fight as hard as I can and beat this if y'all promise to make me one of the biggest rap artists in the world. That's all I want. Deal? Bro, you were popping when I was in middle school. And I'm 26 now. It's time for you to settle down and start a family. You're three coughs from Social Security. And you ass and your ass begging for clout. Well, it's to fight his illness. <laughs> Because everyone knows the best vaccine is attention. Yo, let's see how many subs they can get from this comment. All right, well, let's see how many people care about your comments. Ah, current people is zero. Wonder how many subs you got from that, bud. I'm proud to be an American because at least I know I'm free. All right, hold on. The Europeans got to see if they're enslaved. <laughs> Sorry, one second. I'm going to go check if the moon has any other flags on it. Yeah, go ahead and call me when your moon flag pays your hospital bills. Then we'll, then we'll go ahead and concede. But until then, that means nothing to me. I would like it if every time I ate pizza, girls twerked behind me. What if the girl twerking was your GF and it was the first time she was meeting your family? Uh, depends if she worked there. Oh, apparently you haven't met my GF. Well, she's right there resting on your mouse. Can you introduce her? Yes, I can. Everyone, shake hands with my hand. Don't ask where it's been. You won't want to know. Balan Wonderworld will leave you with a sense of wonder. A nagging sort of wonder. The kind of wonder that makes you wonder. Wonder how a game could so masterfully miss literally every opportunity to treat its players with a modicum of respect. Wonder how a very well-known publisher could stomach having it in their library. Wonder what in the world happened with the Switch version. Wonder where your $60 went. I just came to chat. Yo, but I need money. Well, where do you live? Napoli. You can help me? Yeah, here we go. Indeed.com. You're welcome. You realize, nerds are the only reason you're here. How tough a nerd's the only reason I'm here? Did you forget who made your phone or the computer you're typing with? Well, it depends on where it's made. Don't make me think about that. That makes me sad. You say you like baseball. I've never met a girl who likes baseball. 
Oh, I don't like, I love it. Okay, the name of the NL East teams in the next 10 seconds, no Googling, ready, go. Well, it was nice to have met you and maybe it was Braves if you'd ask this question, but it was somewhat insulting. I could fillies you in on the answer, but I'll have to pass. It seems to be a Nationals problem with men trying to expose bonus. Girls are not being real sports fans. Instead of taking our word for it, but don't worry. You know what they say, there's other Marlins in the sea. See ya, bucko. CNN's Don Lemon. Justice has been served. And we all know he would have never said this had the reverse verdict been reached. Well, Ben, that's because if it wasn't the reverse verdict, justice wouldn't have been served. And that's an amazing, astute observation, my friend. Very disappointed that Blank was open on Anzac Day. I think it's a total lack of respect for those who gave their lives for us. Well, I, Blank, the owner of Blank Espresso Bar, one of those people. I served in the Australian Army before opening Blank. I'm still a reservist to this day, who could be called upon by our government to serve overseas at any moment. Went on, I march at Valentine's service and the catafalque party. I go to every dawn service, as do my staff. Instead of getting drunk or playing two up, we choose to serve hot coffees for my fellow diggers after their service. Don't even start about respect. You as an outsider have no idea. This is a public car park. You have taken parking space Spaces for two weeks. This is not fair on residents who rely on this car park. The council has been informed. To the writer of this note. Firstly, I would like to thank you for the vigor with which you are defending residents' right to park in this public car park. I have not taken parking spaces for two weeks, as you claim, but actually two years with this vehicle and six years before including my previous vehicle. I agree that it is annoying when there are any spaces left in this car park, however, that is is the nature of a public car park. And it's something we all have to live with. For at least three nights last week, I had to park on blank. While I appreciate your opinion, I will be continuing to use this car park, where spaces permit, for the foreseeable future. I would have thought that my house being 200 feet away from this car park would have qualified me as a resident. If you'd like to discuss this in more detail, I would welcome the opportunity to hear what the council's response was to being informed that a car is parked in a public car park. Resident of blank, go fuck yourself. Relative to body size, the loudest animal on earth is the lesser water boatman, Micronecta Schultzi. It is two millimeters long and can sing at 105 decibels by rubbing its penis against its belly. Damn, I wish I could do that. Guinness World Records lists the insect under loudest penis. Ah, I thought the title loudest penis belonged to Piers Morgan. He learns something new every day. Ah, uh, he wouldn't take too kindly to that one. He'll, he'll run off the set of his new show. This is fucked. Fucked like your face. You know, my old school RuneScape videos get more views than your porn, so I really, please, don't pipe up. You're, you're good enough at getting piped down. Piping up, but not so much. Need a little practice. I got polio from the vaccine and was paralyzed from the waist down. Parents should do their own research and take the time to weed out dangerous, unnecessary vaccines because their doctors do not have the knowledge or the time to do so. Oh, really? Is that so? Because you're standing up at about five of your Facebook photos. Do you have polio? Or is it polio? Because you're a liar! I'm not pro-life or pro-choice. I'm pro-education. Teach people about birth control, cycles, the impact a child have, and... Teach about the pros and cons of having a baby and abortion. Neither is easy. Let women decide, but at least make it an informed choice. You know, that's pro-choice, dumbass. You just described it. Electrical engineers who design the chips and PCB. Pathetic. Electrons. <laughs> Eat shit. Quarks. Suck my dick. Well, you know, one really would need to get to a subatomic level to find your dick, so that's a fitting comment. Dude, retire already. Nah, did Willie Nelson or Johnny Cash retire? Or better yet, the older fellas that still play in bands at local bars and allegiance? It's in our blood. Hip hop is the only genre where people think you have to quit when you get old, and that's just simply not the case. You just evolve and give it your best to reinvent when you love what you do. You don't quit or retire. Have a good day, sucker. Please improve your English first. Dude, your bio says what ain't kill us makes us stronger. I'd sit this one out. Yeah, no, being grammatically accurate doesn't make someone smart nor dumb, especially when it comes to specific languages. Many people don't have English as their first language, you dumb fuck. Also learn to write with words, not numbers, you lazy dumbass. Got him. Got him good. That's why you never talk up in Instagram comments. You get demolished. Really, any social media. You're an ass, you get 
your ass handed to you. You know, to be fair, uh, British cuisine looks like something born in the long tradition of dares between friends, so Chris's culinary skills are quite fitting. I, I think this is a perfect representation. Oh, the Mayweather and, and Logan Paul hugging match. It's like two bots fighting each other in easy mode. I loved it. Paid $50 for them to hug the whole time. Post Malone's mustache looks like two capybaras kissing, and that's it. That's the post. You know, I, need I say anything more? Look at the photo evidence. Yo, dog, I bet you listen to car alarms for fun. Just eh, 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 ooh, ooh, ew, 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 ew. That's, that's, that's your bop. That's your jam, buddy. Driver runs over motorcycle. Justified or not. You know, bikers need to remember that no matter how mad you are, you are the chihuahua of the vehicle world. Just any other vehicle, including a smart car, will own your ass if it decides to. You are not safe. You flipped him the bird and God was in his wheels. I'm real glad to see the cloning machine works and they're all musically talented. I don't know what, how, what more can I ask for, really? That's how they make Minecraft content creators. They're all clones. Look at that. <laughs> he ain't even in costume and looks like someone that tells hello riddles for no reason. Paul Dano the Riddler. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he is. Don't you dare talk to me about Dreams music video. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'd wear a mask too if I looked like a sleep paralysis demon. This looks like an animated cold introduct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I started dying. This looks like an animated cult indoctrination video. This looks like the animated videos that show at the bowling alley when you get a strike. You know, and from, my, from what I understand, they had a very short amount of time to put this together and they were primarily like Minecraft animators. So the video's jank, but they tried their best. They, they, they tried their best. Like, yeah, come on, Abby, come on. <laughs> What gets me is the crying animation. His cheeks just get glazed like a Krispy Kreme donut. It's disgusting. Both eyes are off center because they're trying to escape her brain. They're trying to get out of there. They're scared of it. 1.30 a.m. Plains area of Hilldale. Possible cow on the loose. Constant mooing outside of our residency. Yeah, okay, this will be the third time my ex-wife has been removed from someone's property. I'm sorry about this, guys. Tell, tell, him, tell him Diggle sorry. <laughs> this guy amused me because he looks like Bear Grylls when he got stung by bees on his face. Funny. Yeah, no, this movie has less flavor than Scottish food. I mean, didn't Gordon Ramsay come from Scotland? He makes pretty flavorful food. And he got sausage rolls and stuff. I don't know. Who knows? Why am I depressed? Also me. Ah, yes. Gmod prop food. Mm-mm, delicious. Don't screw with me. I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't make God capitalized, I will make you past tense. I want you to really think about your capitalization, pal. Man, I feel bad for the hairs that have to stay attached to your hideous head. Shave them off, do them a favor. Either you got a hot pocket for a brain or we didn't watch the same fight, G. Oh, Jake. I want to see Jake Paul fight an actual, like, currently training boxer. Like, someone who's, like, actively, you know, fighting and not just retired. I get it's nice for the check, Nate Robinson, uh, Ben, whatever his name was. I I already forget his name, I didn't care about him. They're just doing it for the check, I get it, but give me someone who's gonna like slap Jake around a little bit, come on. Me can play with you, no need to be sad. What are you, Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars? Talk like a person, come on. Bro, you kinda look like Jesus, but he went through like an emo phase. It's kinda, kinda wicked, honestly, kinda sick, kinda freaking cool. To me, Jim looks like a weasel cursed and becoming a human, but that's just my thought, that's just me. Theo looks like the keyboardist in a funk band, but his instrument isn't even plugged in. I don't know, he looks like he's sells karate lessons in the woods to me, pal. It's always the Karens that look like they eat cat food that have the most to say. It's because they're out of kibble. They're angry about it. Out of mail mix. Hey, take that attitude to the nursing home. You know, when BTS said life goes on, they didn't mean you, pal. Don't make me drag the last few strands of hair. You angered the K-pop stands, bro. You don't... <laughs> You don't poke ARMY because ARMY will make you feel bad about your entire life. I stay way out of there. You know, I'm proud to say I've never seen any of these movies. If you haven't actually seen Lord of the Rings, you're a if you haven't seen Lord of the Rings, you're actually living under a rock. No, I have better things to do than sitting on a couch for hours and watching movies. Oh, like what? Find worms to eat and watch out for bird rock dweller? What do you have to do? What's life or death for you right now? I mean, let me know. Dude, you committed so hard to this joke, I honestly feel bad not giving you an upvote. Microsoft 
XL. You're the guy that explains the magic trick to people right in front of the magician, aren't you, huh? Good to see you're that guy. Bet you're real fun at parties, asshole. Magneto can shut you off without violating social distancing. He can just pull them all out of your face, buddy. Like Chucky in The Bride of Chucky. You just pull right out of your face. Jack's mic is a World War II battle radio situated in a Chinook 1500 meters above the air. What's a Chinook? Oh, it's a helicopter. Ooh, it's a big helicopter. Oh. <laughs> so his mic is bad. <laughs> You know, she is the reason we have a not for consumption warning on dish soap. Yeah, she's the type of person to get mad at the mirror for copying her style, so I don't think she's the brightest bulb in the box. I don't think she's even in the box. College students do not have to go in debt to get a degree. They can work their way through like many of us did before the day of student loans. Uh, miss, you were classmates with Moses when college classes costed only a few shekels, so. Not sure if you got room to talk um, when you have father time in your bedroom over there. Yeah, she's the type of person to bring 18 people to an 18 plus movie. She thinks it's the party size and not the age limit. Well, that's why we say rated R, not 18 plus. Magrosa Flemma Cata. That means filthy drooping phlegm. Ew! Oh, that's actually, that's disgusting to call somebody. Hope your grandma gets bullied at bingo night. Joke's on you, my grandma is the bully at bingo night. Yeah, it's the mushroom shaped nose for me. Got a Mario power up like that, huh? Just grab their nose, bloop, bloop, bloop. This dude's out here calling people fools while he's presiding over the court looking like a hungover Quaker Oats guy. Well, he is the judge, so you gotta respect that, I think. When she looks into a mirror, there is no conscious observer. It's just dead air, it's static. Man, people like this wipe with their bare hand. And that permeates, they got stinky hands. Dude, this song is the embodiment of the 2015 don't touch my phone wallpapers. And I love it. Rule one and two are for men who believe they have to look a certain way to attract women, completely discounting their personality, interests, inherent sexiness, etc. because essentially they have resigned themselves to being a uh, shitty blank piece of used pizza cardboard rather than full human beings. So that's why we have rule one and two. This was on a poll about where a, a gentleman should ask someone to for a, a date. Bowling, cause all those balls there will make up for what you apparently lack, buddy. Just gotta get some extra balls in there to encourage you. <laughs> Tim Smith looks like an accidental time traveler from the 1800s who spent most of his time as the town simpleton who tried to foot race draft horses. Poor Tim Smith, stuck in time. <laughs> this is the most humiliating day of my life. Hello, Alexander. Hope your evening has been most enjoyable. Would you care to receive some artful photographs of my nude form? Hey, why do you sex like Jigsaw? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a simple question. Why do you sex like Jigsaw? Am I gonna die? Ben Shapiro's voice sounds like what I'd think a parody of his voice would sound like, but no, that's just him. That's just, that's what God did to him. Biggie, a gangster with a heart and almost like a wise old sage. 6ix9ine, aborted Skittle. Well, he wasn't aborted, he made it, he's a full term Skittle. Do what Eric Clapton's son did. Who was Eric? What? I'll understand this joke. Hold on. What did Eric Clapton's son do? Oh no! Oh! <laughs> that's horrible! <laughs> oh, that's awful. That's a mean joke. I don't even think it was a joke. Then there was no punchline. I crashed into a spring and it played the worst sound I've ever had the displeasure of hearing. An entire zero out of 10 and I'm going to poo on the developer's pillow. I hated it. This is the kind of guy on Ghost Hunters who farts and thinks it's spirits trying to go up his ass. Maybe it is. You don't know. Zach Bagans has experienced a lot of things. Oh, sorry. This is Ghost Hunters, not Ghost Adventures. So this is whatever Taps crew member was weird and funny. I don't know. Dang, man. He's got the IQ of a sponge and the personality of a glass of water. This guy stinks. Thanks. Julia C. <laughs> Julius Caesar's Rise to the Republic. Well, this documentary was well done, unlike his steak. His steak is still raw and chewy. It's gross. Oh, for ah. sake, crawl back into your mother's womb, you underdeveloped lollipop stick. I'm tired of you. Tired. <laughs> Trisha Paytas looks like a Stretch Armstrong went into a teleportation machine, but at the last second, a baked ham flew in and their jeans got spliced together. Who threw in that ham? Who did it? He looks like Phil Swift if he ate his products. Belly full of flex seal. That's what he looks like. He looks like a scientist's experiment of trying to bring Sid back to life by using an average nerd character from a 90s movie as a test subject and then infusing him with Rick Astley and Tom Scott's DNA. But the experiment went bad and he aged up 50 years in three minutes, then aged down another 50. So what, is he back to normal? I don't know. How about you take my 
upvote and shove up your ass like an unbuttered mango so your stomach will be quoting the Geneva Conventions. You just picked words. This isn't even funny. You just, you mad-libbed your insult. You're lame. You're phony. Sweet f ah. Vampires are pale because they're anemic. Did you only just realize this? They also suck blood because they can't get vitamin D from sun exposure. Take a multivitamin, you melodramatic Victorian appropriating eternal dumbass. That's my favorite description of a vampire maybe ever. I think that's exactly it. You were a mistake. Your father had a wet dream and your mama rolled over. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good, man. But your profile pic looks like an erectile dysfunction commercial. Having trouble getting it up? Take my boner pills. That's what you look like, buddy. You look like a boner pills guy. This guy looks like he's about to show me how he made a million dollars with two easy steps. My name's Jason Loads of Money, and I'm gonna show you how to make million dollars in two easy steps. Step one, go to your local bowling alley. Step two, refuse to leave until you've ransacked the place for all it's worth. You can learn more by sending out my website, uh, robbingabowlingalley.com. He looks like Jeff Goldblum when he's halfway between being a man and being a fly. I always thought he looked like Machoke. You're like the human version of ketchup juice, I swear. And I, I, I don't mean that as like uh, like the ketchup. I mean that as the, the ketchup pre-piss. Like the little bit of piddle that comes out when you don't shake up the ketchup. You're that. You're you're just the human version of disappointment. Uh, that, easy. Kanye looks like Blade's little brother, Butterknife. I would love to see Blade have, his, have a little brother and it be Kanye. Have him be like four feet tall right next to Blade. I think it'd be great. I'd watch that. <sighs> I'm not gonna read this one, but I do want to talk about it. When I say I don't like grammar insults that are just Mad Lib games played out in the comments section, this is what I mean. I, I'll, I'll read this out slowly. You wiener dog shaped balloon knot. So this could mean one of two things. Either he's referring to an actual balloon knot, at, like at the end of a balloon that's shaped like a like a dachshund, or he's referring to a butthole, because buttholes look like balloon knots. In which case, see a doctor, because it should not look like that. But also, how would you know? Have you seen it? I, these are things I gotta know. These are things I gotta know. Also, you notice how no one liked or disliked his post. I get the guy above him has a down vote, but I would rather have a, wait, I don't even see the usernames. I bet this is this guy's own post. He put his own post on here. Wait a minute. <laughs> I bet he said, oh yeah, that's a, that's a good one. And put it on rare insults. And he went, <laughs> and waited for everyone to like it. And then no one did. And somehow it ended up on this video. Mm, so we talking about how objects are yandere's and Sundares, like bitch, how go you? <laughs> how about you do your laundry, you smelly fucking virgin, you verge? The only thing your fingers are doing are clicking the mouse in Osu, aren't they? Aren't they? So the, that was a rare insult. I like that one. That one gets a little round of applause from me. I like that one. How any young man could have found her attractive is beyond me. She had a face like a bulldog chewing a lemon. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you, I would have rather you told me to go fuck myself. Wow. That, that was... You took time to come up with that analogy. And I pictured it in my head, like the, the bulldog like face like imploding forward like Homer Simpson when he ate the lemon. You have a lot of hatred in your heart, but I don't know who this is, so maybe it's deserved. Found a YouTube video of Leonardo DiCaprio talking about one of his movies. Leo looks like he always forgets to turn something off before going outside. Now he has to try real hard to figure it out. Leo looks like he's always thinking about conserving nature. DiCaprio looks like a patient man who's mastered soundless farting during conversations. I want to know how you get that power, DiCaprio. More like DiBraprio if you're farting all the time. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo DiBraprio. That's a dumb joke. Hey, you look like how mayonnaise is spelled. Complicated. Oh, it's Young Gravy. Young Gravy looks like a horny leprechaun going through a midlife crisis. And you know what? He's got more drip than me, so I can't complain. Wow. I salute you for sitting through 38 ads just to listen to the human equivalent of pouring yourself cereal and not having enough milk. Clickbait, people. <laughs> I'm at the store, right? There's this lady and her husband who's looking at me like I'm insane for wearing a festive mask. Well, this dude looks like a deformed mole rat with an iron deficiency. I mean, no offense to mole rats, but this guy looked hideous. He was bald, he was wrinkly, he got big old but I think it was a mole rat, actually. Now that I think about it, I think it was, I think it was Rufus. Hold my feeding tube after I bike down steep concrete st I mean, he's wearing, is he playing Happy Wheels? Why is he in a suit and tie? Did he watch like a PewDiePie Let's Play a Happy Wheels from like 2011? It's said, hot dog, that looks like fun. And then copied it in real life. <laughs> Evil Knievel's Mormon son always has to try to prove something. 
Uh, we get it, buddy. Your dad's a daredevil. And now you collect taxes. Whatever. Blank is a Muppet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you compare in that walk and shit stain with a Muppet. There is nothing Muppet-like about him. Now, maybe one of those puppets from Avenue Q, but still, that seems like a generous description for him. I don't, I think he's nothing like a puppet. What you're looking for is an asshole. Nitro looks like if Brendan Neary went to the gym and became an alcoholic. Well, I don't know who this is, but I know who Brendan Neary is, but I don't know what he looks like, so I will take your word for it. Well, I'm very sorry, sir, but seeing as how literally nobody asked for your opinion, I might suggest keeping your opinions, which contain as much value as your skull contains brains, to yourself and shut the fuck up, because if brains were gunpowder, you won't have enough to blow your nose, good sir. That was a very proper insult. You know, I hope the water you feel in your toothbrush tastes and feels like orange juice. Damn, that was just brutal, actually. This guy looks like Ryan Johnson if he lived in his parents' basement. That's it. That's the tweet. <laughs> hey, get a load of this guy. He looks like a Russian oligarch who had surgery to look like Pinocchio. Get a load of him. A load of him. He looks like my BitLife person when they have 0% looks and get them to 100% with plastic surgery. I mean, I have 100% looks, but it's gonna go away in time. But that's why I started a new BitLife. Bro, when you get to hell, you will have a special seat next to Pontius Pilate to rest. This is the most sacrilegious shit I have ever had the pain of laying eyes on. Adios! To all the people who say video games cause violence, go poop on a cactus and lick it up off the cactus, because you are dumb. It's a very oddly specific request, Wario Will. <laughs> it's a very strange request you have there. I hope you and your entire family tree gets popcorn stuck in their teeth. That's how much I don't like you that much. <laughs> Hey, Charlie looks like his dad still tells the restaurant he's 14 years old to get lower prices, which is perfectly reasonable. It's saving money. Raj is like the kind of person to clap at the end of a funeral. I'm just saying. I, you don't have to agree with me. I'm just saying. J Station is the kind of person who would sell his TV for a remote. Let that sink in. What is he going to do about it? His channel's gone. He can't say nothing. You know, I bet you're the kind of guy that puts your ruler under your pillow to see how long you've slept. Oh, that's... Ah, that's a yo mama joke. Get out of here. That, that's that's like a that that's a yo that's a yo mama's so stupid. She put the ruler under her pillow to see how long she slept. That, that, that's that kind of yo mama joke. That's a Zach James classic. This dude looks like he would eat the materials in science class. Any chemicals? <laughs> I gotta give credit. I can't steal this joke. Uh, someone in my Twitch chat, Sky Deedle, says he'd eat the beaker. Just crunch on it. Just straight glass. He likes the texture. Shout out Sky Deedle if that makes it end. <laughs> Wally sucks. I wish that every meal you ever consume will be oversalted only for your last supper before your execution to have no seasoning at all. Wally does not suck. You, sir, suck. I'm 25, and while I can grow a beard, it's as sparsely populated as the fallout wasteland. If I try to grow out my mustache, I look like a sophomore in high school who just hasn't gotten around to buying a razor yet. What little hair I can grow takes forever. We all know the shaving makes it come back thicker as a wives' tale, and I'm living proof. Will I one day be able to grow out a thick, lustrous caveman beard, or am I just chasing a hairy dream? Ah, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. My grandmother's beard didn't come in very well until she was in her 70s. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Do you guys remember Big Ed? Oh, you mean that really short guy with an ego bigger than Elon Musk's bank account? Yeah, him. He's back. He's dating someone new. I want to do a video about Big Ed, actually, now that I think about it, because he's he's back on the show with another, uh, with another lady. I think it's fun. But I would feel bad because everything I wouldn't want to make fun of his neck. I just want to make fun of how awkward and cringy he is. <laughs> Wait, if we if you take a look at the comments, all three of these comments are insulting him. Are all 20,000 comments just roasting the hell out of this guy? Hey, oh, this is the type of guy who'd fall in a shower and grab the water to pull himself up. Boom! Roasted. This is the type of guy who wouldn't lick his fingers. He would instead spread his Cheeto fingers on the couch for five years straight and wonder why he's single. Boom! Roasted again. Damn, he's Johnny Silverhand and Walter White at the same time. This new Breaking Bad episode is sick. Walt's alive? And now he has a cool hand? He's got a hand for making deals and a hand for making meth. <laughs> Don't touch Walt's meth hand. Who gives a hot wet crap about this anymore? Freaking update the game. Charge for it if you must, but just do something. Anything. Oh, I bet your skin's thinner than school toilet paper, isn't it? Ooh, it's thin. Brand new slash never use. Well, that's the same thing. Coastal lobster wine holder made out of a strong plastic. Oh, I don't know, man. 
man. That looks like someone sprayed Spider-Man with Raid. Raid what? Um, I'm not gonna say their name, they're not paying me. When you get distraught, you kinda look like if Mr. Bean and Sylvester Stallone had a baby. I mean, you could have worse parents. Early morning breakfast, breakfast quesadilla. Ah, oh, yes, finally, the breakfast squared quesadilla. Dude's got more hot sauces in his fridge than steps I've taken today. He's, he likes spice. Well, he's got, he, 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 will not, he beats the heat, you know what I mean? Woman opens emergency exit on plane for fresh air. What? Sorry, is she doing, a, is this like a family guy cutaway bit? Is this, that's real, that's real life. That, that, but that's real life. You know, I bet she's the type of person who looks up and down before crossing the street. Nothing in the sky, I can see my feet, I'm good to go. I'm too great actually, they aren't that clever. All they say is ratio and reaction gifts. Oh yeah? Oh, no, that's mean, but I'ma say it. Well, why do you look like the product of a Takashi 6 9 and Miss Piggy love affair? Is that me saying ratio? Hey, uh, who's this? Wrong answers only. Oh, that's Thin Diesel. <sighs> This makes me so mad that I want to break into my neighbor's house, toast all their bread, and put it back into the package, and that's some enraging sh Hey, settle down there. This one, he grabbed all of the words in the Mad Libs game. So I'm gonna read this as fast as I can. Imagine being such an idiot that you insult somebody for not using the most detailed insult ever. Shut up, you lobotomite. Your own parents left you at an orphanage because they thought they birthed a troll. Very good. He must have been, look at his name, livid. You know, I think I trust Casey Anthony running a daycare center more than I trust this. This just doesn't seem practical at all. This looks like one bad speed bump away from catastrophe. Hey, the big daddy DeWalt vape box. Wow. Hey, what a unique way to come out to your parents. What, that he's, uh, that he's taking fat rips? Mom, dad, I smoked out the DeWalt. You what? Dad's like, son, can I take a toke? That's pretty damn cool. Honestly, screw viruses. They're not even alive. They're just strains of punk ass DNA that go around messing up us normal and god fearing life forms. You don't even have a nucleus, you stupid bacteriophage looking horizontally transmitting RNA clump. Get out of here! Oh, and it's morgues. Where did they get the idea that it looks good though? Like, it's like a stalk of broccoli made out of pubal. I just don't get the hairstyle. I don't, I don't know it. I, I don't, I just don't get it. Maybe he'll come back with a better haircut? I don't know. If an illegal immigrant who, quote, doesn't speak English can travel 2,000 miles on foot with barely any food or water with no money, can walk across the border and just steal your job tomorrow, you should be spending less time on Twitter and more time developing a skill. I think that's what we gotta take away from this. The phrase, person X has a punchable face is a horrible thing. There's so much wrong with it. The idea people have any say in what their face looks like, the suggestion punching is an acceptable human response. It's degrading. It's cowardly. It stinks of all the worst parts of the internet, humankind's angriest medium, and yet with all due advisories, and having considered soberly all available evidence, it has to be said that Logan Paul really does have a punchable face. But have you seen his brother, Jake? I think the spookiest thing that happened last night at Horror Nights was when Terry Crews rudely said, uh, no, when I asked for a picture. Oh, and Big Terry coming in. No, the scariest thing I saw was you rudely pushing through my kids like a zombie to ask for one. Why did you think I said no? No water and oil, but blowing steam out of the exhaust that needs to be fixed. Take as is. Currently on a permit. Hey, maybe when you sell this car, you can pay me back for destroying my car and help me pay for your children cheating dog. Oh, he's a cheater. So he destroyed his, his ex's car, has a kid with her that he isn't paying. Oh my God, a trifecta of toolery. Have you ever been shot by a paintball? Do you know how much it can hurt? Especially with peppery stuff in the air around you? Yeah, I have many times. It hurts, but it's not gonna protect you against a man with a gun invading your home. Well, I disagree. Are you a paintball gun salesman or something? Like, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but please, next time you come up with one this good, just log yourself in the bathroom and scream it directly into your toilet. It's where it belongs. Cause it, I haven't shaved my legs in a really long time. And while I was babysitting, my skirt edged up a bit and the seven-year-old I was watching said, Ew, you should shave. That hair's not supposed to be there. And I said, well, if it's not supposed to be there, then why does it grow there? And he was really silent for a long time and then finally said, that's what Sonic the Hedgehog. Tumors grow. Are these supposed to be there? It's called evolution. Just because it's there doesn't mean it's useful or wanted. Oh, like you. Local man compares leg hair to cancer. Genuinely thought it was a smart argument more at six. Somehow in this crazy life, we found each other. Hey, aren't you sisters? Thing that significantly decreases the amount of crazy that you found each other. Jared Isaacman is a 38 year old tech billionaire, pilot, and a chief executive of Shift 4 Payments. 
a Pennsylvania-based payment processing company, and he will charter the flight. <laughs> the least deserving of the four. At 14, he started a company that now helps process payments for over 200,000 businesses. He broke the record for circumnavigating the globe fundraising for Make-A-Wish twice, and he's paying for the other three passengers. I'll let you stop with your bad guy billionaire narrative. I mean, come on, look at his face. Look at that face. I think Jared Isaac, man, his, his, uh, he has two first names. Jared Isaac. <sighs> here come the bootlickers. You know, I'm glad someone's here with the courage to tell everyone that experts and scientists and common sense are wrong. The world could use more exceptional minds to squawk at everyone telling them how dumb they are, yet offering no specific alternatives to back up their claims and accusations. Appreciate you. Director James Gunn has addressed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3's official May 2023 premiere date. It's a little stressful that the release date is so close. Hey, what world is that close, muff? <laughs> oh, you've triggered. You fired the gun and, his, and his, the bullet reads. In a world where we're designing dozens of new characters and entire worlds and cultures, building enormous sets and pushing the boundaries of VFX and action sequences beyond where they've ever been. Mother <laughs> It baffles me that we all have the information available online to learn anything for free, but you still have to pay $30,000 per year just to hear some professor explain everything so poorly that you're not learning it all from the internet anyways. <sighs> This mother sub has hundreds of posts where you guys are laughing at someone with no education, getting shut down by someone with a degree in the field. You guys nonstop rip on people who say they did their own research. Now you're siding with this bullshit. Just, I get not wanting to pay the 30K. I understand that. I get not wanting to pay the 30K. I understand that. But you don't got to flip flop like this, like you're a pair of sandals. Okay, there's no, there's just no need. Become most powerful man on earth. Do absolutely nothing. Become the most powerful man on earth. See that your country is prospering. See that you see that you're in an era of peace. Don't spend money on military motions that are unneeded. Spend money for welfare, including starting an orphanage for girls. Devote time to raising children meant to be the best possible heirs. 1800 years later, four channels are mad that you didn't do dumb. That's okay, let them be mad. I became the most powerful man on earth. What are you? Hey, what the fuck? This? McDonald's? Yeah, they clearly deserve a higher minimum wage. Nothing makes the right look smarter slash more serious than not knowing how to turn a sandwich over. Ah, <laughs> I see. That's the problem. My burger is backwards. Sorry if disturb you. I have something really important to tell you. Hmm? I made a terrible mistake towards your Steam account. Yeah, really now? It was just accidentally reported your account for doing illegal purchase slash scamming instead of someone else in the Steam support so that your account will be suspended and your IP will be blocked on Steam. Yeah, that's so weird because I'm on Steam right now. Also, they wouldn't tell you, Jack. I would most likely get an email myself telling me this, but not to mention Steam would do an investigation of your report and see that you are indeed lying. I'm not sure what you get from wasting my time, but please in the future find a better way of trying to scam people. Please do not waste my time anymore, you. And here's my favorite insult. Pathetic little worm. <laughs> Good news. A search bar is now rolling out to the Stadia store. Get a sneak peek into the next features coming to Stadia in today's blog. Bro, comedians will go an entire career without ever writing something as funny as this tweet. <laughs> you you don't. You do not need a search bar if you can display every available game on one page. It is not necessary. May the fourth be with you. Hey, you know those are the bad guys, right? Whoever's editing this one, I'm so sorry. This is a long one. I think I'm gonna adopt a pug, y'all. There's this one named Max. He's so cute. Bike lane installation nearly completed on this 1.2 mile roadway. Improvements project from Leon's Road to Florida's Turnpike and unincorporated PVC Gov. Work is expected to be completed in late spring 2021. Hello, uh, I'm preparing a keynote speech for an upcoming bicycling summit. The focus of this speech is how engineers design conflict in road systems and how that's being deadly to people who walk and bike. May I use these images to make that case? Full credit given, of course. No, oh, this is a this is a Ron DeSantis original. Oh, yawning. My mouth just hurts, man. Sorry, yawning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> genius. Uh, genius. I would explain the irony of this misspelling, but something tells me it would be a wasted effort. I blame the Department of Education for letting their standards fall so low. Hey, pal, you misspelled 
It's the, it's the wrong there. Oh boy. Time for an incel post. Incel post. Wait, is this an incel post? No, it's not. Sorry, I completely misread. Time for a post dunking on incels. Not quite an incel post. I just burped. It was bad. I I had some. There's there's this place called Kane's Chicken, and they make hand battered, juicy fried chicken. And I had some chicken, and it was so good. I love my life right now. I'm living the best life. Anyway, I'm gonna explain why women don't like nice guys. It's not women like assholes instead of nice guys. It's women are attracted to actual personality traits and nice is not one, not really. Nice just means not an asshole. People aren't attracted to nice because it doesn't mean anything. People are attracted to funny, witty, sweet, thoughtful, compassionate, interesting. Nice isn't a personality trait. It's a default setting, the bare minimum. If all you bring to the table is nice, you're boring. And if you have to tell people you're nice, you're probably not as nice as you think you are. For example, if you think women owe you sex over someone else because of your perceived niceness, you're a giant bag of dicks. Not just one, I'm talking multiple, different shapes, sizes, and varieties. The whole rainbow of dicks. I'm talking a menagerie of cock, uh, uh, uh <laughs> no, hold on. I'm talking a menagerie of meat, a carnival of cock, uh, uh, diverse stick display. That is what you are. That was funny, Damien. That was good. There's a lot of ways to say penis. I am not nice. I'm a mean guy. I bully everybody. I hate all you. <laughs> guys. <laughs> now give me money. Give me money. It's easier to predict the future when you're the author. Hey, you got a tinfoil hat on your head? What's a tin foil? Excuse me? It's an aluminum foil that's shaped like a cone meant to be worn as a hat. It's kind of like a fashion sense, you know, an indicator perhaps. One that makes people around you aware that everything you say is not credible and most likely you were dropped as an infant. I think you should try it on. It might fit your personality. It might speak to you like you speak to the walls. My dick is called life. <laughs> life is hard. <laughs> Life is also short, and life is also a pain in the ass, so uh, what are you gonna do? This is really good, the vocals are B.A. It stands for badass. Why would you say B.A. only to then say badass? Oh, it's because he's a D.A., it stands for dumbass, just for clarification. This Indian channel, which focuses on topics like science, geography, and general knowledge, uses a footage of a video game called Ace Combat to tell us viewers how fighter planes and its components work. So it used a vi I like that. Let's see, let's, let's make that a trend. Video games as references. White people have done everything to make my life miserable. Yet I'm not supposed to hate white people. Oh my gosh. Yo, I was at the white people's meeting last week when your name came up and they were discussing our plans to make your life miserable. We were so afraid that you'd blame yourself for your own failings instead of us. It's so great to see that we're making a difference. Let's go. College tennis player suspended after telling black opponent, at least I know my dad, during match. He said, at least I know my dad, to a man named John Wilson. Is that the sixth? That is six generations of knowing their dad. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> You, you over generations, you, you missed the point. You suck. Glenn Danzig said the misfits and the punk explosion couldn't happen today due to cancel culture and woke bullshit. <laughs> um, a queer rapper did a lap dance for Satan like two weeks ago, Glenn. I think, think it could absolutely happen today. Hey, how likely are you to recommend Xfinity from Comcast to friends or family? Zero. Because you charged me 140 bucks for early termination despite my military orders to move. This violates the Service Member Civil Relief Act of 2003 and you still have not refined it. So I don't think you're gonna get a, a glowing rating from me anytime soon. When your girlfriend finishes three times and the last time finishes with you when you only finished one time, you know you good. Man, that poor girl had to fake an orgasm three times before you finally stopped. It sucks, man. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, my name is Damien. You've been watching Dealey, and I'll see you next time.